The first phase in the test process is test planning and control. In this phase, we need to make sure that we understand the goals and objectives of the customers, stakeholders, and the project. We also need to evaluate the risks of the system, which are intended to be addressed by testing. Based on this understanding, as part of test planning, we need to specify objective of testing, determine scope of testing, risks in testing, come up with test strategy, identify resource requirements, schedule test analysis and design tasks, plan for test implementation, execution and evaluation, and also determine the exit criteria for testing. As part of planning, we also need to plan for test controls, which will help in measuring the progress against plan and take corrective actions as and when required. We will cover test planning more in detail in session five. The second phase in the test process is test analysis and design. This phase involves review of test basis and identification of test conditions. Let us take a closer look at both of these activities. Review the test basis includes review of the product requirements, architecture, design specifications, and interfaces between the products. It also includes examining the specifications for the software we are testing. All these artifacts are called test basis, as these are used for defining what and how we should test. We use these test basis to help us build our tests. We can start designing black box tests before the code exists. As we study the test basis, we often identify gaps and ambiguities in the specification because we are trying to identify precisely what happens at each and every point in the system. This helps us in preventing defects that may appear in the code. After understanding the specifications, we identify test conditions based on analysis of test items, their specifications, and their behavior. This gives us a high level list of what we are interested in testing. In testing, we use the test techniques to help us define the test conditions. We will learn about different kinds of test techniques in the later sessions. We also evaluate testability of the requirements and system in this phase. The requirements may be written in a way that allows a tester to design tests, but may not be testable. For example, if the performance of the software is important, that should be specified in a testable way. If the requirements just say the software needs to respond quickly, that is not testable because quick may mean different things to different people. A more testable requirement would be the software needs to respond in two seconds with 10 people logged on. The testability of the system depends on aspects such as whether it is possible to set up the system in an environment that matches the operational environment and whether all the ways the system can be configured or used can be understood and tested. In the planning phase, we also identify the design of the test environment and identify any required infrastructure and tools. This includes testing tools, see chapter six, and support tools such as spreadsheets, word processors, project planning tools, and non-IT tools and equipment. This should include everything we need to carry out our testing work.